Good morning. This is Friday, May the 21st, 2021. This is going to be a very special day for the Childers family as our youngest son, Alex, will be graduating high school later this evening. I'm sure it's going to be a very emotional time. And as I look back, I think about when my oldest, AJ, graduated. We were kind of, yes, we got one through high school, all the way from kindergarten through high school. And then uh, we still had two left. And then when Adam graduated a few years ago, uh, we were like, oh, okay, now it's getting a little more serious. Uh, we've only got one left. And uh, now we're down to today's the day the day that our youngest will graduate high school and so there's a lot of mixed emotions about that and uh, I just wanted to share with you some scripture on this take five segment uh, about the importance of children um, the Bible says in Psalm 127 that children are an heritage of the Lord they are a gift from God and we are responsible as parents to raise them according to Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 4 we're responsible to raise them in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. And I, and I felt that responsibility as AJ was getting three, four years old, turning five, and we had to make that decision about what uh, we were going to do about the boys' schooling. And uh, I just, I really felt responsible to do everything that I could to take these prized possessions of children, the three boys that the Lord had given me, and do everything that I could to prepare them to serve the Lord. And throughout their lives, I have prayed for three major things for my boys. I've prayed that, first of all, they would be saved. I prayed that they would be baptized. And then I prayed also, secondly, that my boys would marry a godly woman and never have to experience divorce and never have to experience that type of heartache or suffering. And also, thirdly, I've prayed that they would always serve the Lord, that they would never get out of church, and God would give them a place of service, and they would be faithful to that. And I'm, I'm really thankful that I see the Lord answering those prayers in my boys. They've all made professions of faith in Christ, and they have all been baptized. And AJ's engaged to be married later in August this year. Adam has a, a great... A girlfriend that loves the Lord as well and and Alex will be going off to college this fall and it's exciting to see what God is doing in our lives and in the lives of our children and I just want to encourage you to make sure you're cherishing your children and cherishing the moments that God gives you together I know especially when they're younger and they require a lot of attention and a lot of work and that it can get frustrating and that it can get tiring um, but I, our goal as parents is to raise godly children that would praise, honor, and glorify their Creator and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And so today, if you would care, just uh, say a prayer for me and Dina and our family as Alex will graduate later this evening. Um, but I want to just encourage you to cherish your children. They are a heritage of the Lord. They are a gift. And we are responsible for raising them in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Your Heavenly Father, I do thank you for my boys. Thank you for the blessing, Lord, that each one of them brings to our lives. And Lord, I do pray again, uh, Lord, and thank you for their salvation. I, and I pray, Lord, that uh, Lord, they would always serve you and that they'd marry godly women and never experience divorce. And so, Lord, I, I pray, Father, that you'd bless uh, those that are watch this with children. And Lord, I pray that they would understand the importance of raising them in the nurture and admonition of the Lord and that children truly are a gift from you. And Lord, we love you and we pray this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Well, that'll end this week's Take 5 segments and I hope you'll continue to join us in the future weeks. And this Sunday, we'll be honoring all graduates Sunday evening at our church service at Solida. God bless you all. Have a great day and a great weekend.